Hi there, folks. This is Luke Charles Kuhn at Kuhn Truck and RV, your little RV specialist. Started by our mom and dad in 1976, we are proud to be a second-generation family-owned and operated business. My friends call me Luke and my sisters call me Charlie, but you can call me anytime at 440-OHIO-RVs. A member of our growing team would be happy to help you. Please check out our website at truckandrv.com to view all of our inventory. Again, that's truckandrv.com. There's a direct link to this particular RV in the video description below. If you follow that link, it will take you to our website where you can see the pricing and information on this unit. Unit. Once this unit is sold, that link will be removed. We are a full service dealer offering warranty as well as financing packages. If you have any questions, please give us a call at 440 Ohio RVs. Again, that's 440 O H I O R V S. For sale today, we have a 2008 Road Trek 190 Popular with 77,013 miles. Alrighty, folks, here we are inside of this 2008 Road Trek 190 Popular. As usual, I'm gonna start in the front, work my way towards the rear. I'm gonna do my best to give you a good idea of the overall floor plan as well as the overall condition of this unit. Here at Coon Truck and RV, we are proud to be a second generation family owned and operated dealership. All of these RVs go through the same inspection process before they hit the web. We'll go through a full demo with you at the time of sale, answer any questions you may have. We have a Road Trick 190 Popular versus 190 Versatile video. I'm gonna put a link to that on the screen as well as in the video description so you can check that out see which one is best for you. We've got about 73 and a half inches of headroom here in the basin part of the coach, about 69 inches here at the rear. Got a table mount in the rear. Got our trench drain here. This is a cover you uh, remove here when you're taking a shower. The bathroom shower area is located in here. We'll check that out closer in a little bit. Got a fantastic fan here in the center of the coach that acts like an exhaust fan for the bathroom area. Also an attic fan at night. If you open the windows in here and turn this on, it'll bring the cool outside air in. This runs on the coach battery. Got your track for your shower curtain around here. This is a TV antenna crank. You do not want to drive around with this TV antenna up. Nice, easily accessible entryway. Got a storage spot here in the door. These are cup holders. Got a window that opens here with a screen. The mechanism to open it's behind this flap here. Got some storage up top in the rail, a little pocket here. Got our porch light switch, inverter switch. The inverter inverts the DC battery power to AC power. So you can watch the TV or charge your phone or laptop perhaps. We've got a generator start stop switch. This is an Onan 2800 gas generator. Fresh service, fresh oil change by our certified Onan techs. It's got 129 hours. Start and stop that here. You can use that while you're driving if you'd like. Levels test here. So you push and hold this button to see how much propane you have, how much is in your fresh water, your black water tank, and your gray tank. The water tank levels are notoriously finicky, so don't always trust those. Got a coach battery levels test here. Our water pump on off switch that pumps the water out of the onboard fresh water tank. Coach battery disconnect that prevents parasitic draw. It also disconnects the charging systems, which are the shore power plug-in, the alternator while you drive, or the generator. Got our fuse panel here. It's got our AC breakers and our DC fuses behind that. Got a smoke detector here. Some storage up top. Got an AC plug-in there. Got some paperwork there in that envelope. Table leg. Place to hang your clothes. Got a propane furnace down below. Got a table in here. Nice deep storage base. We've got a three-way fridge freezer. It's a three-way, meaning it runs on AC, so your shore power plug-in or your generator. DC, meaning your coach battery or propane gas. We've got directions in the bottom of the fridge there itself. It's operated via the buttons on the front. I recommend leaving that in the automatic setting. It'll do what it needs to do to stay cool as long as you have the appropriate fuel. Got a two burner propane cooktop. Got a nice aluminum backsplash. Got AC power. Window does not open. We got a curtain here for privacy. Single basin stainless sink. Got Corian type counters. A little pull out cutting board. Got a microwave here that runs on the shore power plug-in or the generator. Got your manuals in there. Got AC power there. That's the microwave plugged into that now. I'll flip you around here and show you the bathroom area. So essentially you're gonna stand in the center of the coach here. You can pull the shower curtain around you for water containment. Got the exhaust fan, fantastic fan overhead. You can flip this part of the door out for privacy. 
essentially going to stand here, remove this cover here, and the water is going to run down into there. Got our toilet. Got storage down beneath the toilet. These are the covers that can go over the windows up at the front to block those off. Got another small privacy flip out here on this door. Got your DVD player. Got speakers throughout the rear and throughout other parts of the coach. Those play the music from the head unit up front, so whatever the driver and passenger are listening to, play through those speakers. It's looking like the TV is going to play through the speakers on the TV itself. Got a Cool Cat AC heat pump. This is a heat pump down to around 40 or 50 degrees outside temperature. Below that, you'll have to use the propane furnace, but it does give you an electric heat option. The Cool Cat and the propane furnace are controlled through the thermostat here. Got a noxious gas detector. So here in the 190 Popular, you can sleep twins like this. This is a power sofa, so you'll push a button, this will come down. You can also make up the big bed using the table that's below this cushion. I'm gonna go ahead and drop some pictures now so you can see what that looks like and get some measurements. The separate twin sleepers measure approximately 25 inches wide and 72 inches long on the driver's side, and just a little shorter at 68 inches long on the passenger side. This sleeping setup is popular in small motorhomes as it allows you to easily get up and use the restroom at night without crawling over one another. If you make up the big bed, it will measure approximately 72 inches east-west or side-to-side side and 68 to 72 inches north-south or front-to-back. The water heater and additional storage are located beneath the couch. Here we are sitting in the rear of the road trek. What does Rockin' Robin do when she's bored? Tweet. Got a TV on a swivel mount here. You can swivel this out to face the front. The front two seats do swivel, however the passenger seat's going to get a better position due to the driver's seat having the cabinet and the steering wheel. You can potentially watch the TV from the front if you have two, uh, people that get up at two different times in the night. We've got screen portions on the lower of the window with curtains on the driver and passenger side. The rear windows directly behind me do open, however they do not have screens on them. We've got an AC outlet here, over here, and also over here. Got three seat belts on the rear couch, so a total of six seat belts in this unit. A little mark on the seat there. It's like a little scuff into the leather. Got another mark on the seat there. Got some storage up top. So all in all, we've got a nice road trek here. It's gone through our full inspection process. This one's ready to hit the highway. Got minimal blemishes inside, a couple little nicks on the seats there. But all in all, this thing's pretty good looking inside. A few blemishes as you'd expect for 2008 on the exterior, striping, things like that. Nothing that affects the fun or the usability of this RV. This thing is ready to hit the highway and have some great times. I'm gonna give this one an eight and a half out of 10. Check it out at truckandrv.com. The best little RV dealer around since 1976 and home of the RV brothers. Here in the cabin area, we got power windows, power locks, power mirrors, tilt, cruise, CD player. Got Sirius satellite here. Got nice clean upholstery. That little nick there. Little glove box. Got a privacy curtain that you can pull around the front here for privacy while you're parked. Not noticing any signs of smoking in the form of stains, burns, funny smells. The cigarette lighter is unused, so while it's tough to say for certain, I'm going to call this one a non-smoker. Alrighty, folks, we're going to go around the outside of this 2008 Road Trek 190 Popular. This RV measures 20 and a half feet bumper to bumper with an 11 foot manual awning. The tires have 24-21 date codes. This Road Trek is built on a Chevy 3500 Express Van chassis with a 6 liter V8 engine with 70,013 miles. Got a pretty good looking exterior on this one. Still has lots of shine left. Got your porch light. And the storage compartment. The coach batteries are located behind this flashing here. Got these clevises here for the awning legs. I prefer to run those awning legs directly to the ground and use a tent stake. 
prevents people from walking through there and breaking your awning leg or scratching the side of the RV. Coming around to the back here, got the air conditioner coming out the back, got a tow package, got your propane tank behind this little plastic cover here, got your spare tire you can drop down, got your awning center rafter and crank, got some storage space here you can access. Got a fill for the winter tank. This is a smaller tank that's inside of the road trek itself. That's for colder weather camping. If you have more questions about that, I can help you with that at the time of sale. This does have a thing here to zip a screen in. Not sure if the screen's there. I can check a little more, uh, but it does have the zipper there. Got our fuel fill for our engine and our generator. Generator exhaust. Generator stops running around a quarter tank, so you cannot strand yourself. Got actual alloy rims on this unit. A closer look at the stripes, a little bit of age marks there. Got a little paint missing there on the fridge cover. A little bit of wear on the stripes. At the back of the water heater. Got an outside shower, this is nice for kids or pets, or if you're at the beach perhaps. Got your city water that comes up here and goes into this. We've got a storage bay here. Got your shore power cord, got an extension cord, a little light there. Got your furnace exhaust. Got the gates for the black and gray tank. So you pull the black to let the black tank go, then the gray. This has a macerator pump, so it's gonna pump everything out of this little tube here. The macerator is turned on by pushing and holding this red button. And we got the fill for the main freshwater tank there, so that's the one you're gonna use most of the time. So all in all, pretty good looking road trek here. This unit is ready to hit the highway.